Five Random Bible Contradictions Part 1 The Genealogy of Jesus The genealogy of Jesus is found in two Gospels, the Gospel of Matthew and the Gospel of Luke. Let's see if they agree. According to Matthew, Joseph, the supposed father of Jesus was a descendant of Solomon, David's son, through 27 generations. Matthew chapter 1, verses 1 to 16. However, Luke says Joseph was descended from David's son Nathan, through 42, generations, from David to Joseph, Luke chapter 3, verses 23 to 31. Please note, to reconcile the two different genealogies, some Christians claim Matthew traces Jesus' lineage through David's son Solomon, while Luke traces it through David's other son Nathan. But this doesn't stand up to scrutiny. When we look at both genealogies and notice that apart from two names, Shiltiel and Zerubbabel, see Matthew chapter 1 verse 12 and Luke chapter 3 verse 27, we see that all other names are different. How can a person that the Gospels tell us didn't have a father ends up with two different genealogies with completely different fathers and forefathers? Whereas there are some who falsely claim that Matthew lists Jesus' lineage, while Luke lists Mary's, we will see how this could not be. The Gospel of Matthew starts the genealogy by telling us, This is the genealogy of Jesus the Messiah. Matthew chapter 1 verse 1. Therefore, it cannot be the genealogy of Mary. As for the genealogy in Luke, it starts with Jesus and ends with Adam. Mary is not mentioned at all. Luke chapter 3. Now Jesus himself was about 30 years old when he began his ministry, he was the son, so it was thought, of Joseph, the son of Heli, the son of Mathat, the son of Levi, all the way to, the son of Enosh, the son of Seth, the son of Adam, the son of God. As we can see from the verses, the genealogy starts with Jesus all the way to Adam, who was referred to as the son of God, no mention at all of Mary so it could not be Mary's genealogy. Please note, there was no small letters or capital ones in ancient Greek and Hebrew for those who might claim Adam was the son of God with the small s. Did Joseph take his family to Jerusalem after Jesus was born? Luke says yes. According to Luke, Joseph brought his family to Jerusalem after Jesus' circumcision and days of purification prescribed in Leviticus chapter 12 verses 2 to 8. And when the time came for their purification according to the law of Moses, they brought him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. Luke chapter 2 verse 22. Matthew says no. According to Matthew, Joseph was afraid to go to Jerusalem because he feared Herod's son Archelaus who was then ruling Jerusalem. But when he heard that Archelaus reigned over Judea in place of his father Herod, he was afraid to go there, and being warned in a dream he withdrew to the district of Galilee. And he went and dwelt in a city called Nazareth. Matthew chapter 2, verses 22 and 23. They can't both be correct, so which one is it? Weren't both verses thought to be inspired by God? What did Judas do with the money he received from betraying Jesus? Matthew says he brought it back and threw it back in the temple. When Judas, his betrayer, saw that he was condemned, he repented and brought back the thirty pieces of silver to the chief priests and the elders, saying, I have sinned in betraying innocent blood. They said, What is that to us? See to it yourself. And throwing down the pieces of silver in the temple, he departed. Matthew chapter 27, verses 3 to 5. However, the book of Acts contradicts this. Now this man bought a field with the reward of his wickedness. Acts chapter 1, verse 18. They can't both be correct. So did Judas buy a field with the thirty silver he was given for betraying Jesus, or did he throw it back in the temple? Which one is inspired by God and correct? How do you know? 
How did Judas die? Matthew states he hanged himself, and throwing down the pieces of silver in the temple, he departed, and he went and hanged himself. Matthew chapter 27, verse 5. The book of Acts disagrees, and falling headlong, he burst open in the middle and all his bowels gushed out. Acts chapter 1, verse 18. So which is it? He hanged himself or he fell headlong? Did Jesus support the teachings of the scribes and the Pharisees? Matthew says yes. According to Matthew, Jesus advised his followers to practice and observe whatever they, the scribes and the Pharisees tell you. Matthew chapter 23, verses 2 to 3. Mark, on the other hand, says no. Mark tells us Jesus warned his disciples to beware of the leaven of the Pharisees. Mark chapter 8, verse 15. So, which inspired gospel is right? If we have two directly contradictory verses as we have seen, they could not both be correct. A book from God might have printing or copyist errors as humans pen the books down. However, it would not contain contradictions, mistakes, and conflicts within its text. Don't just accept what you are told or leave your salvation in the hands of someone else. Research for yourself. Your afterlife could depend on it.